With all this talk of potential flooding over parts of the Connecticut River as we head into the weekend and early next week. It's useful to know more about the Connecticut River. It's actually a river uh, more than 400 miles long and it actually begins in a very tiny lake known as Fourth Connecticut Lake in Pittsburgh, New Hampshire. Then it trickles into the Third Connecticut Lake, then heads into the Second Connecticut Lake, First Connecticut Lake, still in way northern New Hampshire. And then it finally joins up uh, right at the Vermont and New Hampshire state line. It actually forms the boundary between those two states. And then it continues down between Vermont and New Hampshire, collecting all the water from snow runoff. There's the Connecticut River there. There's Vermont. There's New Hampshire. And that's also the border between those two states. And as we know, the Connecticut River runs right uh, up and down the Pioneer Valley. It also has a number of other rivers here in western Massachusetts that bring in additional water to the Connecticut River. Then, of course, it heads through Connecticut, finally exiting into the Long Island Sound uh, between Old Lyme and Old Saybrook, Connecticut. Uh, we will continue to track the river as it rises later this weekend right here on Twenty News. I'm Twenty News Storm Team Meteorologist Nick Bannon.